The speaker calls the house to order as the second day of plenary for the week resumes. A member, Mr. Billy Osawu, moves a motion on the frequency of collapse of the national grid, which has forced businesses to invest in alternative power sources, thereby raising their operational costs and leaving end users with exorbitant prices. Mr. Speaker, the House recalls that the nation is currently facing its worst form of insecurity, including insurgency, banditry, kidnapping, and other violent crimes. The collapse of the national grid will embolden criminal activities and security facilities such as the Vigiscope app, the Police Situation Room app, or Police Command Control Rooms can be compromised during the dark hours. Tracking devices that need power to reach telephone lines can be hampered. Mr. Speaker, cognizant of this, that if the frequent national grid collapses, are thoroughly investigated and solutions proffered. It will end the continuous system collapse, boost the economy, and reduce the suffering of citizens. The House unanimously adopts the motion. And as amended, she say aye. Those against, she say nay. That is of it. Following another motion by Mr. Tafik Atile Soro, the House also mandated its Committee on Digital and Information Technology to liaise with the Ministry of Information and National Orientation, National Broadcasting Commission, and other relevant agencies to investigate the agreement between government and Star Times to fast track the complete digitization of the Nigerian broadcasting industry and report back within four weeks. Daily Omoyeni, Channels Television News.